This is a high voltage generator that I've made. It generates approximately 1000 volts AC here in this coil. And this um, AC voltage is uh, rectified here in this tripler. And this tripler has the property to triple the voltage. The AC voltage coming from the coil to uh, approximately uh, 4000 volts DC. This is AC here on um, let's say 10 kilohertz. And here it's DC. And the charge is stored in a few capacitors. And these capacitors are mounted inside this block here. So the DC from 4000 volts goes through this wire and it goes to this piece of wire here. And here uh, I have sticked a few pieces of uh, PVC isolation tape to study the properties from this tape uh, to isolate 4000 volts. So at first we're going to make some sparks. Um, and now we're going to study the tape, how the tape uh, reacts on these high voltages. I move the light a little bit away so that it gets a little bit dark. So I move to the first piece of isolation tape. This PVC tape, and you can see when I touch the tape, there's no sparking. So this tape isolates the 4000 volts well. This is in between a piece of uh, blank copper wire, and here this is the second piece of tape, the black tape. It also isolates the 4000 volts very well. And now we go to the paper tape. It's used for painting uh, jobs. And you can see that the voltage goes through it completely. So it's a very bad electrical isolation. And here's also the red tape, a piece of PVC tape again. And it isolates well. Uh, I have to say that this test is not um, a proper test in this sense that it doesn't give uh, a good indication how all these tapes react in a real high voltage uh, circuit, especially uh, a tube television um, circuit, the high voltage generator from such a tube television set. This tape, this black tape, proved to be very good. It was even even um, able to us to uh, isolate 10,000 volts. It's coroplast tape. There's already a video already a video on my channel. Coroplast tape. So this is in fact the best tape, the black tape. But in this test, it shows no difference um, compared to other tapes. So. You have to test the tapes uh, in real in a real situation whether they are able to isolate uh, high voltages. The next test is that I connect my high voltage generator to this fluorescent tube, and here you see the sparking. The gas pillar inside the tube conducts electricity. And um, the uh, electrons in the tube are kicked to a sort of higher uh, energy level and um, they uh, reach here the surface of the tube and there's a fluorescent powder in it and that makes the lamp to light up. So here you see the sparking. And it works quite well. You can also connect uh, much larger uh, fluorescent tubes to this high voltage generator. Of course the voltage uh, from 4000 volts drops when it 
is loaded with a certain resistance and the gas pillar inside this uh, fluorescent tube has a certain resistance and that means that the voltage drops to approximately let's say to 300 volts or so. So 4000 volt volts become 300 volts when the circuit is loaded with this fluorescent tube. This circuit is also usable when you want to make, for instance, an oscilloscope. It's in my book, um, Schematics 3. And I use this uh, also for my uh, homebrew oscilloscope. 